Yo, what's up dudes, it's your boy Eagle Brother, and I'm back with episode 25 of my Borderlands 2 Legendary Weapons Guide, and today guys, I have the shotgun known as the Striker, in my case it's the Texas Striker, OP level 10, your case might be a little bit different, but of course we're going to be diving into how to unlock the Striker, who to farm, an easy way to farm this mini boss, and then show you guys some gameplay, go through the wiki at the end. When it comes to farming, there are a couple different ways we could go about this. If you do not have the Highlands Extraction Point available, then we're just going to go to the Highlands Outwash. We're going to be farming a mini boss named Old Slappy that you do need to complete the Slap Happy mission to unlock. So there will be a mission called Slap Happy that I believe you get from Sir Hammerlock in Sanctuary. On the way there, if you do spawn here, let's say you fast travel to Highlands Outwash, there's going to be a shit ton of stalkers running around here, man. You're going to want to pretty much bust through this. Rabid stalkers left and right. You might even come across a tubby stalker here and there. So a uh, pretty, you know, intense area. So I would say just kind of bolt around here. Maybe get, uh, you know, maybe take some enemies out here. Take some bots out. But the best way to farm this boss <laughs> as I'm getting attacked. And leave a like if you hate the rabid stalkers because we all hate freaking rabid stalkers. So old Slappy's going to be over here to the left. Now, the Highlands Extraction Point, the reason why I talked about that earlier is because you could fast travel there to make that run a lot easier. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to enter in this door. And when we do, if we did fast travel to the Highlands Extraction Point, which I highly recommend, you're going to land right there. And then we're gonna, just going to turn around. So when we save and quit, we are going to pop up right here. You don't have to run through all those freaking stalkers or bots or anything like that makes the farm a lot easier so again as i mentioned you do need to complete the slap happy mission you get from sir hammerlock and sanctuary you're gonna see old slap he's gonna be invincible initially so no point in shooting him right now but he's gonna go back under old slap he's a pretty easy boss to farm uh he does sneak us one and give us a little whack right there but it's okay that ain't nothing you can see we do take him out pretty easily man this is a little bit of an op glitch but it makes farming a lot easier he does drop us the striker you guys can see right there so let's jump into the gameplay and walk you through the wiki i also literally just noticed that as, as i'm uploading these episodes they're uploading it on the same exact date uh pretty weird how that works out but hey we'll take it the Striker is a legendary shotgun manufactured by Jacobs. In Borderlands 2, the Striker is obtained randomly from any suitable loot source, but has an increased chance to drop from Old Slappy, located in the Highlands Outwash. It is also in the pre-sequel, but of course, we aren't talking about the pre-sequel. The red text says, Fan Deer 13, special weapon effects, 50% additive critical hit bonus, and a 15% multiplicative i hate when they add that word because I've, i'm always stumbling over that multiplicative crit hit bonus added with exceptional accuracy minuscule spread and increased recoil increased weapon zoom when sighted slightly reduced damage and you guys can see here man when i'm shooting this gun it seems like ads is the way to go that's why i have maya out here if i was coming in with sal i don't know why but for some reason i'd be freaking missing all my shots i know my aim ain't the best but it ain't that freaking bad, man. So, uh, for some reason, accuracy is good when you are ADSing. Uh, but, you know, the striker is doing ish, decent ish damage. Um, I'm sure there's some builds out here that you could spec into, like, shotgun damage or whatnot. But, you know, it, it was it was okay. It's a good one to have, of course. But, for me, it just wasn't putting out as much damage as I'd hoped. The usage in description says, unlike its Borderlands counterpart, apparently it's in the first Borderlands, with massive damage at the cost of fire rate, the striker is now semi-automatic with a small magazine in Borderlands 2. Perhaps even more accurate than it was before, the striker also keeps its bonus crit hit damage, but at the cost of a very high recoil. If unscoped, subsequent shots fired may miss the intended target completely. That's exactly what I was experiencing, man. Look at that. Like, I'm shooting freaking uh, hip firing left and right, and it just wasn't doing it for me, man. But when I was ADS and it seems like the bullet spread was tighter. I don't know what was going on with that. The nature of its accuracy further reduces its usefulness as a striker's tight spread will stray about the crosshair as one group. A rather hit or miss behavior compared with other shotguns, random deviations of every pellet. Up close, many other shotguns can easily outperform the striker, even other Jacob shotguns of lower rarity as its pellet count is relatively low. However, it only uses one shell per shot, so per ammo spent, 
it is one of the most powerful shotguns so if you guys are looking at that way where you know if, it, if you're taking it per pellet shot yes okay it is a, a one of the most per pellet high damage shotguns in the game however man it shoots like two shots per pit trigger pull uh and it just doesn't seem to be doing the damage that i that a lot of other shotguns have done you even said in the usage and descriptions you even heard that they said that guns with lower rarity may even be more powerful than this gun so yeah, of course you know since we are going to be farming every single legendary we do need to get this one this is a good one to have and you know it did perform a little bit more than my expectations because from what i've you know just playing this game for the last freaking 10 years man i've never really used the striker and i know it's notorious for being pretty bad um but it, it did a decent amount all right i'm not gonna dump on the gun uh because i don't have like a shotgun spec build or anything like that you guys could probably make this beastly but from what i got from it, it wasn't that great anyway guys that was episode 25 if you guys do enjoy this series man i appreciate a thumbs up uh, we've been crushing it we've been trying to get out every every day a video for you guys having a lot of fun in borderlands 2 10 years later and also let me know in the comments below if you guys are back playing borderlands 2 like me are you following along are you getting these legendaries as i'm getting them we're almost gonna have to start tra transferring some of these over to like a, a mule account or something because we're getting legendaries left and right but again appreciate you guys for stopping by we'll catch you in the next episode peace